Hi, I'm Joe Cochran with NorthlineExpress.com and in this video series we're going to show you step by step how to install a Duratec chimney system for your wood stove. We're going to attach our single wall black pipe from our stove to our round ceiling support. To do that we're going to use this stove top adapter which is going to start here at the bottom of the stove. We'll go into our telescoping length. This is a single wall telescoping length of pipe. It's adjustable from 40 inches and I think 44 inches to 68 inches in length and then we'll still need another two feet of pipe there so we'll, we'll use that piece in the installation. We're going to start from our uh, round ceiling support so we're going to jump up on the ladder show you how to install the uh, chimney adapter to your round ceiling support. Okay so our chimney pipe adapter comes in two pieces you've got the actual adapter itself and then the trim ring. The trim ring slides over. This is going to slide, just simply slide up into the round ceiling support. And then there's four pre-drilled holes in your trim ring. And it comes with four hex head screws with self-tappers that you're going to drive into that. So we've got our drill here. We're just going to get it ready. Okay, that should be nice and snug now. And that's going to make a nice secure connection from our single wall pipe into our class A double wall chimney pipe. So next we'll be connecting our uh, two foot section of pipe onto here. And you might notice I uh, situated the connector so that the seam is in the back. So I like to alternate and keep the seams driving into the back so you've got a nice smooth surface on the uh, chimney pipe itself for the front. All right, so we're going to install the 24 inch piece of black pipe and the key to remember is that these only go one way the flow only goes one way on the pipe so you've got the female end at the top the male end at the bottom and that allows for the seams to overlap so if creosote were to build up in the inside of the pipe and drip down the pipe it doesn't drip out and end up coming down the single wall pipe it'll stay inside as long as your seams are correct so just be sure to measure that and now we've got some small screws that we're going to use to make the connection. So we're going to get our piece up there into place. Again, I'm aligning that seam in the pipe in the back. And you need to alternate them, but for the most part, you can just kind of guess what the first one. Okay, so now we're going to install the stovetop adapter. And these are really, can sometimes be really hard to fit in here. I've taken uh, some pliers and just bent the bottom section a little bit to crimp it so that I can get it started. Once I get it started, I'll use my mallet to kind of tap it down into place. And again, we're using that seam on the back. So we'll start to fit that in. Again, I just bent it just enough to get the crimp started. As I'm tapping it in, you gotta be careful not to bend this top portion because that's where our next piece has to fit in. Okay, we're in. We'll go ahead and put our three screws in this and we'll start to attach our final piece. Okay, so we're gonna put the final piece of pipe on. We've got our stove top adapter on. We've got our length here. We're going to put the telescoping piece on. We'll uh, seat that in the bottom section first. And then we'll still need to kind of adjust the position of the stove to get it to line up there. We'll check to make sure everything's level. And we'll be all set here. So, this in. Check the flow direction. So the flow's coming up. That's set in nicely. You can see we're pretty well lined up, so we'll climb up there and make sure that we're on mark. First we'll screw this in. Okay, so now we'll just extend this up. You can see we're off just a little bit, so we're going to have to shuffle our stove over to get it lined up properly. Just a few inches here. and. Uh, See if we can get it a budge by myself. Uh, 
That's about on there. We'll check it for square when we're done. We can still have a little bit of room to adjust and maneuver the stove even once the uh, pipe is connected, but that's pretty much on. So we'll go ahead and get this last piece connected. Okay, so that completes our installation. We've got our single wall DuraVent pipe. This is the Dura Black pipe installed. Um, a few things to keep in mind. When we were installing the black pipe, we were handling it quite a bit. Oils from your fingers tend to get and mark the pipe up. If you fire it like that, those oils can burn in and leave spots on the pipe. So before you start the fireplace for the first time, I suggest you um, spray it down with some Windex and just wipe it down, get all the fingerprints off of it, and that'll help to make sure that the pipe cures without getting any spots on it. Any oils or grease from assembly as well that got on there, you need to get off of there. Um, some of the pieces also have stickers on them, so you want to peel those off and clean that off real well. Uh, the first time you fire your wood stove, the paint is going to kind of burn off, so you're going to get a lot of smoke inside the house. Same with the pipe itself. So I suggest you burn it on a decent day where you can open the windows, open the doors, start a nice hot fire, um, cure that wood stove for the first couple times you burn it even, it might uh, smoke like that on you. So just be aware of that. And um, other than that, hope you help. Uh, hope you found this helpful and um, we'll see you in some more videos soon.